Okay, here's an update on my aquaponics system. It's going to do a, a drain on the uh, left side uh, road bed here, but uh, there's my fish. Uh, they've grown quite a bit in the last uh, two weeks since I put them in there. Uh, I lost two, but uh, I guess it's to be expected. I used, I bought feeder goldfish. They were like 15 cents a piece. And as you can tell from the size of the goldfish, uh, you're not going to get goldfish that size for 15 cents at the pet store. So they've grown quite a bit. Up in my uh, first row bed, the one that you saw last time, my uh, um, oregano didn't make it and my strawberries didn't make it. Uh, but I've planted onions and uh, they're doing quite well. They're doing real well. I mean, uh, look at this. And uh, I've already harvested this and eaten it once. <laughs> Take it back in here. You know, I cut the greens off and use the greens for uh, my salad. He's, this is a bunching onion, and uh, just for the heck of it, stuck it back in there. And I, 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 I was uh, amazed and confused at how, yeah, how well it grew. I mean, it grew this much in uh, like two days. It just, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just amazed at how much. Uh, or how fast things grow. Right now, mostly all I've got in here is onions. I've got a garlic plant there, and uh, the uh, the bell siphon here has been working real well. Uh, I've added another grow bed. Um, I uh, tossed in a couple of beans that I found in the cupboard. Um, wife had made a uh, three bean salad, and I liked one of the, the beans, and I just tossed a couple of the beans, or three of the beans in there, and I'll be darned if they grow them. I don't know what kind they are. I've got a couple of onions in there. I, t I broadcast some seeds in here. Um, I didn't get very many plants come up, but I got a few. Um, this is a purple basil. I've got some over here and some back here. and. Um, I've got one over here all by itself, and I got one right there next to the onion plant. I don't know how I'm going to pull that onion plant out without without taking that taking that little guy out. And I've started me some uh, lettuce. Uh, I didn't realize I put so many seeds in one spot, but obviously I did. I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Some of those will go in my aquaponics, and some of those will go in my raised bed outside. And then this is some uh, Swiss chard. And uh, I thought I'd only put one or two seeds in there, but obviously I got three or four in there. And they all chose to sprout. So uh, I guess one or two of these will go in my aquaponics system, and one or two will go in my raised bed outside, just to see how things work. I've moved my... Uh, um, set up from over in the middle of the garage to over here by the window so I get the morning sun and with the addition of my fluorescent light which I, I think has helped tremendously um, I think I'm going to add another uh, fluorescent light to this uh, and uh, I'm going to put some I'm going to put a, a lettuce plant or two here, and, uh, and then I'm going to put some Swiss chard up here, and then over here I'm going to put a couple of, I'm going to put a lettuce plant here, and uh, probably a Swiss chard plant over here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've been absolutely amazed at how, how well stuff is going in here. Um, it's been a learning experience. Like I said, I bought 10 goldfish. I ended up with eight, but I had a huge ammonia spike and a huge pH spike right after I put the fish in, and uh, that was uh, that was a lot of fun to deal with. Um, 
also uh, have added a, an air pump. Um, even though this is only about a 35, 40 gallon system, uh, this was this pump was on sale for 20 bucks. It's for a 170 gallon aquarium. So. I don't get, as they say you can't get too much air as long as you're not blowing the fish out of the water. So, they're happy. i am got a uh, gallon jug that I stick in the freezer and freeze because uh, it's been getting extremely hot here in, uh, in Central Texas. I think the other day we had uh, the official uh, it said it was 109. I was getting readings of 111 out in my yard. and. Uh, about twice a day I take that uh, gallon jug that's three quarters of the way filled with water and, and stick it in here. I've been fighting to keep the uh, water temperature <coughs> below 80 degrees. Um, goldfish uh, just don't do well in water temperatures above 80 degrees and I'm trying to keep them comfortable. Um, they're coming to the top I guess because they think I'm going to feed them again but I've already fed them this morning so uh, they'll just have to wait till, uh, till tomorrow. If I feed them too much I'll end up with an ammonia spike and I don't want to play that game again. Thank you very much for watching and uh, if uh, do you have any suggestions, anything I can do better? Um, uh, I'd like to add another tank to this and uh, move the fish over into the tank and use this bucket as a sump, but uh, we'll uh, have to get a little more mad money together before we can do that. Like I said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.